Good, uh, good afternoon, I think, everyone, and welcome to today's um, uh, BIM team or webinar. Uh, I hope that you all can see my screen and that you can hear me. Uh, and I would like to thank you, Margrethe. <laughs> I'd like you to raise your hand uh, using the, the panel. And Margrethe already did, so I'm, um, I'm confident that you can all hear me and see both uh, me and my screen. Uh, it will be in English today. The reason why is that um, we have invited uh, the whole uh, Symmetry community, meaning uh, Norway, Sweden, Denmark and Finland. Welcome to you all. And today's BIM team is about uh, Lumion. And together with me, I have uh, my colleague and friend, Eirik, uh, who will do most of the, of the talking after I do the intro. So, Lumion, about Lumion. Uh, I'm guessing that most of you already know what Lumion is, uh, but for, for you who don't, uh, just a few words about what Lumion is. It's a really, really powerful uh, vis vis visualization software. Uh, that allows you to um, to do um, to create both uh, images, uh, videos, uh, 360 panoramas, <clears throat> and also to connect live to your um, design tool. Uh, in most cases, that's uh, Revit. I think that applies for the most of you. Um, and two of the powerful things with Lumen is that it's uh, quite easy to to uh, get started with. You do not need a five-day training to, to start using Lumion. Uh, and it works really, really fast. So doing a rendering in, in the Lumion goes a lot faster than doing it with um, uh, other softwares, such as, for example, 3D Studio Max. Today, we are going to concentrate uh, most on the latest uh, release, Lumion 12. It, um, it was launched in uh, November, so it's quite new. I hope that uh, many of you already have uh, downloaded it and start using it. Uh, if so, it's uh, it's always good to uh, to get an intro of the new features. So, Eirik, you will walk you through some of the most important new features. Uh, here are three of them: volumetric spotlight effects, uh, surface decals, and uh, walk a little bit uh, through the new uh, objects, the new materials, uh, and the new way of or organizing the library. And you know, that's all I was uh, thinking I would say before Eirik's presentation. Uh, Eirik, are you there? And are you ready? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Perfect. So I'm going to switch the presenter to you. Yes, let's see. I'll share my screen here. Now, I think you can see Lumion. Yes, there we go. Perfect, perfect. Uh, all right, yeah, welcome everyone to this uh, webinar. Uh, I'm going to go through some of the new features uh, in Lumion 12, the latest release. Uh, so to kick it off, I'll uh, go into my sample project here and show you some of the new, uh, 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 new effects that now are available. Uh, so if I go into the photo mode, and uh, I'll, uh, I've just taken a quick photo here of this area, and uh, I want to show you a new effect that's uh, uh, under lighting, and it's called volumetric spotlights. Uh, and as you also can see here, uh, they have uh, rearranged some of the the effects here, so they're grouped under different um, names now. So if you, uh, so previously this this feature was in a different um, uh, uh, folder, so that's also new. They have rearranged it a bit here. But anyways, uh, it, it's a new um, uh, um, a lighting effect called volumetric spotlights. I'll show you this. So if I activate this uh, effect. And then here, uh, nothing really happens. I have to go into uh, to the setting and select the lights I want this effect to apply to. So I click Select Lights, and here I can then add what lights to to be uh, get this volumetric uh, effect. And here you can then uh, change the density 
and the intensity of the of the, the spotlight. So it's a nice effect. You can also apply this to uh, to cars, lights on the cars, and, and, and basically anything you want. So that's a new feature in Lumion 12. Um, another nice thing is um, they have now added uh, surface decals, which means you can uh, apply um, logos and marks on, on surfaces. So if I go into uh, the object library and uh, to the if effects and uh, placement, you see here now it's a new ribbon called decals and there are a variety of them. Uh, you have some potholes and uh, tarmac and lights and stuff, marks. And uh, what it does is you can apply it to the surface and it will uh, kind of, uh, um, let's see. Yeah, it will, uh, it will um, follow the, the, the structure of the material. Another example here is uh, let's see. Wait, I have to. Uh, I'll see. I'm dropping some frames here. I'll just go into the settings and uh, take down my editor resolution. Like so. Yeah, so these decals are now uh, custom. Uh, I assume at some point you can upload your own, uh, but uh, for now you have these uh, these um, uh, these decals that are in the Lumen library for now. And you, as you see, it, it will follow the, the 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 material structure. Another new thing in Lumion 12 is they have rearranged the content library. Uh, so previously there were a lot of uh, pages up here uh, with different types of uh, objects. Now they have categories, categorized them into what type of uh, object uh, it is. So for instance, these palm trees, curly palm. So if I go in here, I have these uh, um, uh, relatable uh, uh, trees and you can also now search uh, you can search for objects uh, for instance if I go into transport and I search for L12 I get all the newest Lumia 12 uh, content in this case for for transport so they have added um, um, 570 new uh, uh, new objects to the to the library. So now there are almost 7,000 7,000 um, objects in the in the Lumen content. When it comes to uh, materials, they have done some uh, uh, additions there. So if I go into this material, uh, you have now the uh, possibility to choose um, uh, um, a gloss map. Previously you could only, uh, if you wanted to create your your own color mapping, you could choose the color map and the the normal map, but now you can customize it even more with the gloss map and uh, displacement and uh, reflect, reflectivity maps. So you have more options now when it comes to creating your own and editing your uh, uh, materials. So that's also a nice, uh, nice new feature here. Uh, yeah, and as I said, the, the material library is now uh, also um, it's it's a lot easier to to find the correct uh, objects through the through the the the, the sorting here. See, uh, yeah. Another new thing is um, 
they have now added license plates license plates to to the vehicles so if i select uh, this car for instance uh, you see here now i have the option to uh, select the license plate so as for now you have uh, from all these countries so not any northern uh, countries now but uh, they might be added uh, later on and um, on the lights they have added um, uh, the option to uh, let's see here if I select uh, the light source uh, you can now uh, change the um, the um, uh, what's it called um, the, the light temperature uh, so that's a, a new uh, new feature as well and they have also added the character billboards uh, so if I go into uh, placement again and on uh, utilities we now have this uh, character billboard and what's nice about this is you can then add uh, pretty much uh, anything you want so if I want this as a, a custom uh, billboard I can place out this object and then go into the properties and I can then load uh, a customized uh, texture for instance if I have uh, let's see I can find uh, I'll take this as an example so I can uh, load in a, a custom custom billboard to to my project with this uh, and for the materials they have added uh, 65 new materials um, uh, so it's now uh, a total of uh, uh, almost 14,000 different materials to, to choose from from the custom Lumion materials or you can as well uh, um, you can uh, edit them as you as you like and you can save them to uh, a file or save it to the custom materials so when you select the material you can now get uh, get those in your uh, uh, custom custom materials here quick access and when it comes to the open street map they have improved that as well um, for those of you who are not uh, familiar with that I can just quickly show it so I can just create a new plain scene here and then go to uh, landscape and the open street map you can turn that one on and here you can select uh, different uh, you can select the region in uh, in the world so if I take uh, Oslo for instance and you can change the range and then I can download this uh, map so it's basically a sketching map and uh, depending on the density uh, or the, uh, the the size of the city the more detail there will be so uh, we can see how this looks now for uh, Oslo so you get the overview of the the buildings and the uh, water and road uh, road maps and uh, you have the options to yeah to change colors change the heights of the the building and uh, and uh, this one, the improvement here is uh, the, the the detail level is improved. So the larger the city, the more details there there are. You can also go in here to to toggle off buildings. So if we're going to replace this part, we can remove that and then import our own building on that uh, location. So that's pretty much uh, the news. If there are any questions, uh, feel free to ask. Other than that, I think that's what I wanted to, to show today.
just need to find my, my microphone. Uh, there are actually no questions at all. Uh, so if if anyone <coughs> would like to ask anything, then please uh, please take uh, the moment now. And if not, then I'm going to take back the screen. Okay, I'm going to take back the screen. Okay, uh, Eric, can you can you see my screen? Yes, we can see your screen now. Good. Yeah, and now you see me. <laughs> okay, uh, if you want to know more about uh, Lumion, here are some um, uh, some pointers. Uh, first of all, you can you can always access our websites. Uh, I put in two links there. Uh, it's to the Norwegian website. Click on products and uh, Lumion. And it's uh, equivalent with the other uh, countries. So if you are from Denmark, please visit uh, symmetry.dk, products, and Lumion. And then, of course, you can always also uh, access uh, Lumion's own website. It's quite easy, lumion.com. And uh, either if you are on the Symmetry website or on Lumion, uh, this is the place where you can find more information, uh, showcases, um, features. You can download a trial. Uh, and you can always uh, contact um, your contact person at Symmetry uh, and receive a trial from uh, him or her. We will help you with it. In regards to training uh, support, um, Symmetry has uh, classroom and online trainings uh, on, on Lumion. Uh, visit the local Symmetry site or contact uh, your call, give a call or send an email to um, to your contact at, at Symmetry uh, and ask when the next training is being held. We're doing this quite often. Um, in addition, for those of you who have um, Naviet uh, or who have purchased uh, uh, the Symmetry e-learning portal, uh, there is a learning path on the, on Lumion in um, in this uh, portal uh, where you can find the basic training. You can find the uh, workflows on how to that 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 will guide you through the whole process of of doing um, a scene. Uh, and there are a number of uh, learning videos. Uh, just a screenshot so so you you see where you find it. Uh, click on Lumion on the on the content side on the on the left side. And you'll find the learning paths, the workflows, uh, and the videos in regards to to Lumion there. Uh, Eric, uh, I received yes. one question actually. Yeah. Eivind uh, uh, has asked us uh, if it's possible to download or get a more Scandinavian um, vegetation palette, more Scandinavian uh, plants, trees, and so on. If I'm understanding you right, Eivind? Uh, well, yes, the answer is yes, but uh, where, uh, I'm not sure. I sometimes use the 3D warehouse in uh, SketchUp, actually, because there are, uh, I mean, there are a lot of different, um, uh, I mean, the quality can be uh, various, but, but you will find pretty much everything there. Uh, and then just uh, uh, download that as an uh, export it as a Collada file and straight into Lumion. Uh, other than that, uh, I'm not really sure um, where to, to find the uh, Nordic trees, but um, but you can uh, uh, you could uh, maybe try to uh, customize the ones uh, uh, that are in Lumion to with with the settings you have there. Uh, other than that, I'm not uh, not really sure where you can can find that. We can we can look it up and, and come back to come back to you. Thank you, Eric. Uh, apart from that, <laughs> we we have one more. It's not a question. It's more. Uh, it's it's more a comment. Um, Kenneth from Norway. He he um, misses no Norwegian flags. So if you can have a Norwegian flag, and I guess the the same applies for Sweden. We would also like a Swedish flag. And maybe Norwegian flags also. Yeah, so, uh, what you could could do now because they have added this uh, this uh, uh, character billboard, you can just upload your flag to that, but it won't be uh, with effects; it will be static. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's one option at least. 
Yeah. Can Lumion be successful used in infrastructure projects? I would say yes, absolutely. Uh, I have downloaded, uh, I mean, I have uh, uploaded some um, uh, infra InfraWorks models into Lumion and they appear really nice. So, uh, so yes, absolutely. Yeah, and I agree. I've seen some uh, some um, uh, infrastructure project projects uh, being uh, vis visualized in, in Lumion and they look really good. So, Lars, uh, the answer is yes. And uh, that's it from uh, from us in uh, Symmetry today. I will leave this um, uh, this slide open for um, for a while. Uh, if you have any technical questions, if you come up with something that uh, you really wanted to ask but uh, didn't uh, recall um, during this session, give Eirik uh, um, an email, and he will uh, come back to you on that. Uh, for the Norwegian people, if you if you need, want, or would like to have the the, the whole company uh, on training, please contact uh, Margrethe uh, at her email, and she will do the training for you. And if you have any other questions, uh, drop me an email, uh, or uh, take contact uh, with your local um, Symmetry contact. Thank you for attending. Have a really great weekend. Uh, and stay safe. Um, and before you leave, uh, Linda, you uh, gave us a comment here about the flag. I downloaded a random flag as Colada file, uh, and I could set my own Norwegian flag as a picture and material at the object. And yes. then you get the, the the movement and all. So there is a, there is a workflow to to solve that. Okay. Thank you all for attending. Uh, have a great weekend and see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.